Welcome to Matrix Part 3 Phantom Mode. Before I explain what Phantom Mode is, let's create a scenario. As an example, let's say that we have our same situation here. We have a president, a CEO, marketing, sales, and CD audio going to zone 1. Now what we want to do is we have a recorder hooked up to output number 12. We only want to record the CEO and the president, which are inputs 1 and 2. But we want the benefit of the gain sharing algorithm. And remember from our gain sharing algorithm lesson, it works best with four or more microphones. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, let's copy column 1 and let's paste it in 12. So we don't have to uh, select every uh, cell individually of the matrix. Okay, first of all, what we don't want here, and this is really nice, uh, we can select the modes independently, of course. Let's put the CEO now into auto mode. Now, one thing I want you to notice right away is I want to change to phantom mode. I only have four modes available down here. Background will be replaced by phantom mode. Well, we currently have the CD in background mode, you'll notice. So what will happen? Well, let's go to device setup and select phantom mix mode. You'll notice that the CD will change to phantom mode. We don't want that. We cannot have background and phantom mode at the same time. So what we'll have to do is select the CD and change it to direct mode, which would be the best if we're going to be using phantom mode. Okay. Now here, I do not want the CD player anymore. So I am going to disable the cross point and notice the mode of the cross point stays intact, which is very handy. Well, we can change the mode of that cross point even though it's off. We'll set it to auto just so we don't see it. Now what I want to do is select sales and set them to phantom mode. And I want to select marketing and set them to phantom mode. So what that means is I will not hear their audio out of output 12. The recorder will not record them. They have influence as far as the gain sharing algorithm is concerned. However, we will not record them. So this is a very nice way to actually utilize the gain sharing algorithm, yet only record single outputs uh, uh, to a recorder or single inputs to a recorder. Now, if we had a video follows audio, uh, we're using cameras, and we want to know what's the dominant microphone, this works especially well. So have a look at part four for video follows audio, and we will carry on this example.